Hey, thanks for joining me today. Uh, well, uh, what is it? Thursday 6th. Thursday 6th of January. And obviously, uh, we've got to talk about Bitcoin and a couple of the other crypto markets this morning. What with the bit of a shakeout yesterday. Doesn't look so dramatic on the daily chart. Looks a lot more dramatic on the four hour chart. But anyway, um, these markets really are technically almost perfect. Well, they're, they're about the best technical markets I've seen. And I've been doing this for 35 years now. The, the, the levels really hold just basic technical analysis works with the moving averages, the Fibonacci's, trend lines, candle uh, formations, uh, candle, uh, then the patterns as well. Um, I'm not going to say it's easy because it's never easy, but definitely these markets are more chartable than some others, shall we say. Uh, and let's just actually have a look through why I've been calling this market down for such a long time and why it seems to be working out nicely. So first of all, we had this big um, bearish engulfing candle. We, we, we'd beaten the previous um, we'd beaten the previous all time high, which is a, just just like a shade under 66,000. And we'd come up a little bit and then we run up. So this looked like some sort of bull flag situation where the market was going to break higher and then we we're going to have the next leg higher in the bull trend, I don't know, up to 80, 90, maybe $100,000, but it wasn't to be. We, took, we couldn't hold the break above the all time high and we formed a bearish engulfing candle. Now that to me was the sell signal because if you can't break above the previous all time high um, and hold above it, that's quite negative. But when you then get a bearish engulfing candle, and we weren't even that overbought in the stochastic, we really weren't. Um, in fact, we've got a negatively diverging stochastic. I think I've just spotted that for the first time. You see how this peak here uh, around the November, just after November the 8th is lower than the mid, uh, than, than this area up here. So we had a, a negative divergence on the slow stochastic, bearish engulfing candle. That was when I was suggesting the Bitcoin would go lower. I must admit during this period, I was quite confused with why we were going sideways for so long, but that's just the way it is. Uh, and then finally we tailed off. Uh, look, here's some other interesting bits and bobs. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, if I put a, yeah, there we go. So even after that plunge, um, we, we managed to rally, but look how nicely we just held that 38.2% fib. You will probably remember if you were following me or if you're a subscriber, how I had that as the perfect resistance level. Uh, we never got anywhere near back up the 100 day moving average. Once that broke, that was actually really good support. The first time the blue 100 day moving average line, uh, again, do you know what? I bet if I put some fibs on here. Uh, on the first support level, just, just out of interest, trying to remind me where we came. Look at that. Perfect. So we hit the 100 day moving average. We've got this massive bullish engulfing candle, but we couldn't get through the previous peak from the, from the week before and we couldn't get through the 38.2% fib. See that? Bang. Straight down. Then we broke the 100 day moving average, kindly returned close to it for anyone who wanted to try to jump into a short position. And then, of course, we plunged. So once we then rejected the 38.2 percent fib here at 53 and a half or 52 sorry 52 thousand 52 and a half thousand uh the market eventually tumbled we had to retest it here i didn't expect that necessarily but it did happen and then the market plunged and of course the 200 day moving average once that was broken this red line here that acted as a resistance level it also coincided with the 23.6 percent fib and i said eventually we should break lower it was a very long wait over christmas and new year before the break happened and then finally yesterday it's happened so now we're retesting this spike lower down at 42,000. I don't have much faith in this level. I think we will continue lower. Um, we're getting oversold on the downside at the moment. So maybe we'll see a little bounce back. But obviously, there's going to be resistance at these previous lows all around the sort of 45,000, 46,000 area. Uh, OK, I'm not going to go into any further detail. Uh, you've had your report, so you know what my targets are on the downside. Just looking um, up here on the weekly chart with my longer term fibs. Breaking 44,000 certainly is a negative. Uh, as I said to you before, we break this December low at 42,000. That's going to be a negative. And actually, these are some of the levels that I did put on the report, even though I did, said I wasn't going to show you. Uh, but obviously, some of these lows, at least, would, would certainly act as targets. But look at the moving averages. They're a long way down. We're looking at 30,000 before we get anywhere, uh, before we get to the 100 week moving averages. I can tell you on the four hour chart, we're now trading nicely below all of the moving averages that I use and we're getting uh, some negative crossovers potentially as well on the four hour chart. So for me, I've been uh, a, a crypto bear for quite for a month or two and I remain so. Uh, Ripple, the situation is a lot less clear. 
I had a negative bias on that more because I, I saw Bitcoin was likely to tumble. Uh, but also, as you can see, moving averages have helped us. Uh, Fib levels less so. Been a bit, bit more difficult to read. 50, uh, the um, the 61.8% uh, Fib there acting as resistance. And now this is the 500-day moving average down here, the green line, which has acted as support at the moment. Not a surprise, really, when you look at how oversold we are on the daily chart. Let me just move this daily chart. Expand it so you're not confused with the weekly chart, if I can do that. Come on. Oh. Can't seem to get it. What's wrong with me? There we go. Right. Oversold, green 100 day moving average, coupled, uh, 500 day moving average, coupled with the 78.6% fib has managed to trigger a bounce, but I don't see that bounce lasting long. We're clearly in a short term bear trend, uh, and I don't think that that 500 day moving average will be enough to hold Ripple up for a sustained period of time. Uh, maybe the 100 week moving average will do. Uh, down here, but we've got a fair way to go before we get anywhere near that. Ethereum also broke a really good support level here. You can see we had a confluence of sort of fib levels. The spike low previously had worked really well, that trend line, uh, and then of course we've broken it this week, and now we are going to head significantly lower, I would say. Certainly, according to that weekly chart, there is moved to the downside as far as 3,050, 3,000 looks like a very reasonable target to me. Uh, ah, again, being caught by a 200-day moving average here, that seems to be acting as a support level. I don't think it'll hold forever. I think we will establish a bit more of a, of a bear trend. We're almost, we're looking at a potential 50-day moving average crossover below the 100-day moving average. Looks likely to happen. That would act as just another little sell signal. Admittedly, these moving average crossovers are always lagging indicators, but worth paying attention to. So, for me... Uh, Crypto-wise, I think we certainly have further moves to the downside. Please do leave your comments and questions for me. I would be very happy to try and help you out if, uh, if there's anything you need from me. And please also do me a huge favour. Please like, please subscribe, please share. Uh, do, me a, do me a big favour if you do that on my YouTube channel. Uh, and if you want to have a look at my website, it is daytradeideas.co.uk. But you probably know that by now if you've been watching me for quite a while. All right, thanks for that. Hope it's helpful. Uh, let me know what you think of that, and I will uh, follow up some, with some more videos later.